Hello, my Libra friends. Guiding Halo here. Hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Uh, first two weeks of September. Spirit message. What does Spirit want you guys to know? First two weeks of September. Communication from Spirit for my Libra friends. First two weeks of September. Elephant. Greatness. Wow. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Man, this has been coming out for you. Leadership, leadership, leadership. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Someone is feeling incredibly, or going to be, feeling incredibly charismatic about life where you are. Very charismatic. You naturally achieve success. You bring joy where you go. It's like a charging ahead feeling like there's an enlightenment about to come to you of epic proportion, I feel. Love is your strength. It's like there's a superpower here for you. Simplicity. Part of the superpower that you have is to keep things simple. Uh, needing your freedom while in a relationship or in a job. It's needing your freedom to be able to create, to be able to build all of these things. You've got to be able to manifest something beautiful and creative and, and to, to put your effort towards something that's going to build a solid foundation, to build, build like something that'll stand the test of time in work career i feel as though this is something with a higher purpose being leadership is your path now we have willing release keeping it simple there's something about your throat chakra here i wonder if you feel like someone's lying to you about something or you feel like you've been been led down a path that's not necessarily correct Maybe you believed somebody, you took their their advice, their whatever, and now that might be changing. There's a simplicity. It's like you have the ability to sit there and just watch a feather float in the sky and see the absolute beauty of it. Willing release. This is like Empress energy. It's a 13 for Emperor energy taking control. I wonder if someone is releasing the the need of a father figure or a, over uh, somebody over your head uh, in control of the money you make, the roof under which you live, the laws that you live by, that sort of thing, is releasing that connection and tie to that to step into your own greatness, to manifest your own way forward. Perhaps you've been under this, under a thumb for quite some time. The divine wants you to know that you need to be the leader. You need to be the one who is in charge of your own life and, and fulfilling your destiny. It's like you have such a wisdom that can inspire the world, but you need to step past fears, keeping things simple and realizing that you yourself are beautiful, very magic. There's some sort of gifts or, or sprinkling of fairy dust that you do as you go through life. It's coming to you, whatever it is, and it's magic because if somebody's been walking along in life in fear, all of a sudden there's a massive confidence that's about to stretch forth, a massive beauty, a willing release of the past and stepping into how magical you are, what you can bring to the table. This is how I feel about this so far. Gaia's garden, absolutely. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you've sown. So what have you sown? Something between the 4th and the 18th of September is going to be a big deal for you. There might be some communication coming in, something you never ever thought would happen, and it very well may. I feel as though you've been waiting for guidance from the divine, uh, asking for clarity about which way to go, which way to manage something. If you keep it simple, just keep it simple. Uh, and move forward, I think it's going to turn out far better than you expect. Really building something that will stand the test of time. Three of Cups, celebration. There's simplicity in celebrating the joys of life. Someone may very well feel like there is a third party uh, interference, but you need to keep it simple in your emotions. Uh, allow yourself to focus on you. There may be some communication that comes through a family gathering or something that helps you realize that you are glad you took the path you did. There's something about being grateful here. Greatness, stepping into your greatness. Tell me about willing release. The magician, you're willingly releasing the fears of creation. So willingly releasing 
there's there was fear or perhaps even manipulation there could have been trickery going on releasing all of that to step into something and realize your own greatness here i want to walk away from the manipulation i want to keep life simple i want to willingly release anything that holds me back because you have the ability to manifest right now massively you really do and i think you feel that energy you, I think you feel as though there's growth that's about to happen. It's going to take great strength to bring something to your life. So something's coming your way that's going to step forward and, and pull you into a soul calling of some sort. Because it has to do with leadership and greatness. And this is your path. It's very, very powerful. How powerful is this reading? You can overcome any problem by keeping it simple. You will naturally and easily achieve success. And I don't feel you feel that's been the case up to now. I think you feel like you've had to work for every damn thing that you've gotten. Everything. It's been such a struggle. But I feel as though that's easing now. With this, It's like a portal of energy opening. The divine is opening for you to step through. To be able to create with more ease. Hanged man. <clears throat> Asking the divine for clarity about how to move forward and how to create. I know I'm here for greatness. I know I've been destined to do something great. I feel it. This could be for an older person who's retired and looking for a way forward. This could be for someone who's younger and trying to decide what is their way forward for the rest of their days. You're going to change that in your life so many times. And even an older person who's retired may think that, well, they're near the end of their life and they don't necessarily have greatness left in them. <clears throat> Wrong answer. Look at this. The divine is calling you towards leadership and greatness. What have you learned over your whole life? What can you move forward and bring to people? Ace of Wands, I tell you what. What can you teach others? There's an awakening happening here about your ability to teach others, to be a leader, to take what you've learned in this life and to move forward in a beautiful, beautiful place beautiful way this is such a passionate opportunity it's unknown to you at this point uh this thing that's coming forward that you don't know how it's going to manifest you don't know how it's going to move forward but the divine is calling you to greatness leadership to lead to lead people in what it is you know already what you've manifested empress energy didn't i say that my lieber friends that's you all day long manifesting, building, growing. Someone could have a new addition to their family, something you've wanted forever. And then bam, it's there. You, you've you dreamt about it. You've thought, well, gee, I'll keep it simple and I'll just celebrate it in the future and I'll manifest it willingly. It's like throwing a, a, a coin in a wishing well and then walking away and allowing the divine to bring it to you. This is such beautiful energy. It's beautiful. I want to say it could be brought to you by a an emperor type person in your life that is going to bring this gift or this thing forward. And it brings about an opening of your soul and magic. It helps you show others or be able to lead a circumstance or a situation into its fulfillment. This is absolutely beautiful energy. Amazing, beautiful energy. Wow. Like I just feel... Even in the reading, like my energy, I feel just like joyful, opening, greatness, a grateful heart. <clears throat> Dare you. Check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when they have an agenda in mind. Is the source of your motivation desire or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path. You think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek, like safety or wholeness. No. Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in the direction your soul calls you toward joy, discovery, growth, and adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step forward, surrender, willing a release, keeping it simple, to whatever spirit has in store for you. You will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody here wants the best for you. Life loves you more than you know. I tell you what, there's some sort of beautiful opportunity that's about to hit your life. And it's epic because it's taking you straight into the greatness the divine knows you can be. I love you guys. Blessings to you.